This is Erica from ALV Shots Reviews, and I'm here today to review Fox Brims Complete Retinol Serum. A little about myself before I start this review, um, so that you understand why this is something I was willing to review. I am past the age of 30. I have three kids. I don't get nearly enough sleep. I'm a full-time boudoir photographer, so I definitely don't get enough sleep because I'm up editing all night. Um, I have super large pores and I'm aging. My skin is aging way faster than I would want to. So um, this actually has been fantastic. I have super large pores, like I said. I don't know if you guys can see, and I break out very easily, especially in here and in my nose. I get blackheads very easily. And it's kind of my fault that I get blackheads so bad along here because I wear my sunglasses all the time and I don't necessarily clean them like I should. And um, I just have a very oily T-zone. I break out, you know, here and down my nose. My whole nose normally is full of blackheads and my chin. And I even have to watch it, like, around, like, the bottom of my nose and stuff. Um, but this is something I have been using at night. Retinol does break down in the sunlight during the day. So if you use this during the day, make sure that you have on a good SPF moisturizer um, SPF 30 or higher if you can find it. Um, so because I don't tend to moisturize as much as some people because it does tend to break me out really bad and clog my pores. This is something I've used at night, like I said. But it has helped with closing my pores up and making them smaller. My bags, even though they're really, really bad today, excuse that. Um, my bags have reduced quite a bit. Um, my crow's feet have reduced quite a bit too. That's where I've seen the most significant change. I tend to have really bad crow's feet. I tend to squint like this a lot. That's so I get like the wrinkles underneath my eyes and I get crow's feet really bad and I get the forehead wrinkles. As you can see, they're getting kind of deep these days and they're actually not nearly as deep as they used to since I started using the retinol serum. Um, this is something I would highly recommend. I think it's a great routine. I actually do not have anything on my face at the moment. I'm just um, freshly washed. That's why I'm kind of red because the face wash that I use, I kind of scrub in kind of hard to those areas that I tend to have blackheads. I'm gonna head and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on now. And this is great. It comes with a Doppler like this. My hands are clean. Just so you know, I, am, I try not to ever put anything on my face without washing my hands also i don't want to transfer any extra oils to my skin especially if i don't have to i hate to make myself break out more so you can see like right here i have a pimple that came through and it is probably going to scar i have a tendency to pick up myself which you really really shouldn't do but i can't help it so i tend to just kind of run it along my forehead like this and um pat my fingers into it, and then I rub it in in an upward motion. Um, try and avoid your eyes, and then I rub it into my crow's feet, and again, everything's in an upward motion. Um, you don't want to pull, you don't want to pull your skin down. It'll um, make your wrinkles and everything actually worse. And then here, like this. And it, I'm really not putting a lot. It may look like it, but it's really not a whole lot. I haven't, I have not even refilled the Doppler yet. So, and then it's like this again, just upwards and to here like this. Everything's in a circular motion upwards. Always, always. Just like this. And then again with the other side. And you want to let this completely dry and absorb into your skin. And I try to always not, you know, leave, I like to call it the mask line right here. So whatever products I use on my face, I tend to 
going down around my jawline and onto my neck. I am. I mean, what good is having a beautiful face if your neck looks 900 years old, right, girls? Right, come on. Nobody wants gross old gobble neck if they don't have to have it. I certainly don't. But it's as simple as that. And you saw how quickly we did it on my forehead, and it's already dry. There's nothing on my fingers. It's not, it doesn't make me shiny. It doesn't um, leave my skin sticky or weird feeling. Um, it actually has a very refreshing feeling to it. Um, I normally follow up the retinol routine with a moisturizer and a toner. Um, I put vitamins, uh, vitamin C serum on my face in the morning, um, but that's how I go to bed. I put the retinol on and a moisturizer and poof. The moisturizer that I use, if you are wondering, um, is um, either one of two different things. It's either Arbonne or it's um, Ronin and Fields. If you're looking for information on either one of those, I do not sell them, but I have great girls that do. I can give you the information. All you have to do is look below for my email address or for my blog, and you can um, contact me on either one, and I can give you that information. Um, the information for this retinal serum will also be below in the information, so go ahead and give it a look right down there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, drop me a line and let me know why. Is there something that I missed in this that you are wondering about? Do you have questions about this? I'm more than happy to answer what I can. I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope this video really helped. Bye.